There is a place in Durban, South Africa, in the heart of the KwaZulu-Natal Kingdom. It's a place where as the sun rises, you hear the laughter of children. It's a place of faith, hope, justice, and love. It's a place where our lives are being changed. It is our home. Live Village. It all started with one man's vision. In 1997, God gave Tick Smith, founder of Love, a picture of an African village on a hill. There were clusters of homes surrounded by children running and laughing. Mothers were sitting and interacting with one another. God said to build a village for children like me, to have a safe home, food to eat, a mother to love them, a school to educate them, and where they will come to know God as their Father in heaven. And to create jobs for the rural communities so that they can look after their families. The government will come and see why it works, and we can point them to the cross. In this country, we have a massive problem with the orphan and vulnerable children. But at LIV, we're focusing on the solution. We believe that if we put children into a home with a mother that loves them, we believe that the restoration of the family with Jesus Christ in the center is the solution to the problems in this country. I believe that if church, business and government continue to work together, that we'll put a roof over every child's head, we'll give them a mother that will love them, we'll feed and educate them to the glory of God, and this nation will be changed forever. Before starting Live Village, Teach Smith, who we call Baba Smith, and his wife Joan, who we call Coco Smith, fed and looked after children in the Amawoti Township for eight years. Amawoti is one of the largest informal settlements in South Africa. They did many wonderful things, like a back-to-school program for 600 children a teenage, empowerment project, teaching life skills, supporting 27 crutches, assisting and counseling families in crisis, and employed 16 previously unemployed members of the community. In April 2010, Baba and Coco Smith hosted a big banquet dinner for 4,000 guests at the Durban International Convention Center to share this vision of the village. Everyone got on board from government to business to churches. They bought 83 acres of farmland and the building of the village began. This first village will have 150 homes for 150 trained foster mothers and 1,000 kids like me. We also have a school from crash to metric with top academic and sports facilities, an early childhood development center, medical clinic, and a business development center. On the 9th of August 2011, the first mom and children moved on to the village. Everyone celebrated as the first families moved into their new homes. Because we know in their new home, the story will begin. I have been rescued. I am being restored. I am being raised up. And I am going to be released as a star. From then, new brothers and sisters and mothers came to join our love family all the time. But not only does our love family grow on the love village, but also in the world. Many people have come to see this dream become reality. Many people have become love ambassadors, creating awareness for children like me. Wearing their love wristband with pride. Raising funds. Running. Swimming. Playing sports. Going on adventures. Or volunteering at the village. We also see the community around us as part of our extended family. At Love, we have everything we need, so it's important for us to support our neighbors who don't. It's so much fun to give food and love to those that need it the most. 
Baba Smith also knew that the village has to be self-sustainable and eco-friendly to work for future generations. Lev Business was birthed to invest in businesses to provide for this sustainability as well as to create jobs. Lev Business is a 100% broad-based black-owned company with us the children of Lev Village benefiting 100%. We already have many partners. But this is just the beginning. The future plan is to see many villages across our land, raising future leaders and turning scars into stars by providing a fresh start in a supportive community. There are over 5 million vulnerable children in our nation and thousands are added to this number daily. South Africa needs many, many villages across the country in order to turn our biggest problem into the solution. Imagine 10,000 villages, each raising and impacting 500 orphans. 5 million children rescued, restored and raised to become future leaders, impacting the continent of Africa and in turn reaching out to other orphans. 5 million, each touching 10 orphans. Just imagine that. Together we can do it. It takes a village to raise a child, but we need your help. Partner with us and help change lives, one child at a time. Together we can. www.live-village.com